Now you've probably seen this Apple commercial. Pretty cool edits, right? But what if I told you, you could recreate this video in minutes with this website right here, typeframes.com. Hello everyone, this is No Code School and let's just jump right into it. Now this right here is typeframes.com. And as it says here, it allows you to turn your ideas into stunning videos in minutes. So what we're gonna be doing is recreating this Apple commercial with typeframes.com. So we start out by going into our dashboard. Here, once you sign into your account, you can see all your projects and you can create new videos. So let's create our new video with this button right here. So here we have a number of templates as you can see. For our current project, we're gonna be going with text to video. And our first step is adding our video text. Now I've gone ahead and found a transcript of this video online that is over here. So we can go here and copy a bit of this text and paste it into our project this much. And let's copy this, go back to time frames and paste. Okay, so here is our raw text here. We'll make edits later once we see the video. Next up, we can select a color palette from these options. If we look at our Apple commercial, it's mostly black and white. So let's go ahead with that. And next you select the audio for your video. You can upload a custom audio or choose from the given options. We're gonna go ahead with the same song as the Apple commercial, Don't Blink. And we're gonna click generate video. So there we go, here is our project page and this is the video they've generated with the input we have given. Before we see anything else, let's see what they've generated. So there you go, you can already see that the basic structure of the video has been generated. And we just need to add a few color changes, rearrange the text a bit. So now looking at our canvas here, we have a few options. Here we have on the left hand side, the text in our video. And over here we can add new frame, text, video, sticker, animation, sound effect, etc. And over here on the top right, you can change the aspect ratio, you can export. And on the left hand side, as we saw our text, the way type frames works is it sees each of these pieces of text as frames. So you can edit each frame individually. So once you select a particular frame, you can edit its aspects here on the right hand side. Here you can change the background from solid to a gradient. You can change the colors that are animated gradients that they give you. And you can generate videos as well with an image or from a prompt. And generating these videos costs credits, which you can buy. You can also upload your own media. They have some default media here as well, as you can see over here. And there are stickers, animations, and even animated gradients. The next edit menu is text. You can change the text color, font and effects, animations, etc. Here you can add media to your video and then you have transitions, fade, wipe, flip, slide, etc. And then you can change the music as well. So now that we've gone over the general canvas structure, we can edit our video to look more like the Apple commercial. So first off, what we want to do is change the background color to black. So let's choose this here, go into background and choose black. Uh, let's click this apply to all button and click yes, I'm sure. So now all frames are black. And then let's go to the text menu and change the text color to white and apply this to all as well. So now if we play it again. Okay, so now our color scheme is accurate. And now we're just gonna show you how you can maybe change the text a bit, space it out, and then add some animations as well. So over here, let's go to the beginning and see this is Apple's big. In our original video, it's all separate. So let's try that. Let's say just this and then copy this frame and then is uh, apples big and you can see on the first frame here the animation for the word this is a zoom in so let's go to this frame and then we can go into text and animations so the entry here we can say is there you go this shrink animation here so way that will work out now is just like that. And then what else can we add? We can say this is, and let's give this a typing animation. So let's see how that looks. Let's take this and put it all together. And let's give this one a typing animation as well. There we go. So that's how you can add text, change the text frames and even add animations to your text. So now in this video, you can see that in the three to one frames, the colors invert from black to white. So let's do that. Let's go into background here and change it to white and change text to black. And then the animation for them is the shrink animation. So let's go into animations here. Go shrink.
There you go. Now that is more accurate to our video here. And then as we play through the video, you can see there is a video insert. So in order to add a video like that, let's add a frame over here and go to the media tab and click add media. And here we have the video library. We can search for footage. Let's, let's say car. Okay, here we go. Here's some footage we can add to our frame. So there we go. Just like the original video, we have a video insert here. There you go, so you get the gist, that is how you can create a video just like the Apple commercial in just minutes with typeframes.com. We can certainly tweak this a little bit more and make it look more accurate to the commercial, but for the purpose of this demo, we're gonna stop here. Now you understand how the typeframes video editor works and how you can create a video just like the Apple commercial. Once you're done creating a video and you're happy with the content, you can go over to this export button here and you can choose the resolution, frame rate, format, compression, and your exported video will have the typeframes watermark unless you upgrade to a paid subscription. Next, we're going to see some of the other features that typeframes.com offers. Let's go back to the home page here. Another style of video we want to look at here is the TikTok video. So here to create a TikTok video, we're going to change this text over here. And I've asked ChatGPT to generate a script for me here. So I'm going to copy that. The script is about skateboarding and I'm going to paste it here. And we're going to select a voice. Allow the world to live as it chooses. If we did the things we are capable of, we would astound ourselves. Let's go with this one. This is the one you hear a lot on TikTok. And here you can use AI to generate videos for your TikTok video. In order to use AI to generate your videos, you need credits. So we're gonna untick that for now. And we're gonna select an audio. We're gonna go with this one, hotline. Uh, we're gonna click generate video. There we go, our TikTok video has been generated. Let's see what it's made. In the world of skateboarding, every moment carries an electric anticipation. It's the tightening of bolts, the tying of shoelaces, the final adjustments before the journey begins. But once you're on that board, everything else fades away. It's the rhythm of the wheels, the wind in your hair, and the exhilaration of defying gravity. Because falling down is just a part of the journey. It's about resilience, getting back up and trying again. So grab your board, join the community, and let's ride into the unknown together. Skateboarding, where every moment is an adventure. There we go, it's created a nice piece of content there. It could use a little bit of work, maybe a little bit more background footage. It has placed the footage in random places, which we can change and add more if you want. So that's how you do a TikTok video with Typeframes. Another interesting style of video that Typeframes does is this website to product video. All you have to do is put in your website URL and it'll create a product video for it. So let's say we want to create a product video for collect.chat, which is a website that allows you to create a human friendly chatbot for your website. So we take this URL right here and put in this text box and let's choose an audio. Yeah, let's go with this one and then click generate video. So there you go, it's created a product video for collect.chat. It could obviously use some improvements, a little bit more polishing here and there, but the basic structure is there. You can add in your product videos, you can add in animations, your own sound effects, etc. Another interesting style of video is this tweet to video. What you can do here is enter in a tweet URL and have a video generated for it. So let's try that. Let's say this random tweet over here, copy the link, paste it here, select a voice. Allow the world to live as it Select an audio, let's say you want tones, and then click generate video. There we go now, our video is ready, let's watch it. Hear me out, a perplexity, chat GPT-like experience, but exclusively for shopping. Explore the whole internet's catalog, refine interactively, search by rough product description or screenshots of a product. There you go, it's taken the text from here and it's added in some background videos and made it a whole product. This way you can take any tweet you want and create a whole video out of it. One last feature of Typeframes you want to cover is this automations right here. What you can do here is click new automation and you can add content sources such as a Twitter account, LinkedIn, YouTube channel or RSS feed. Then you can choose what style of video you want to be generated, a color palette and some audio and then it'll automatically make videos in the style that you chose 
based on the content from those sources that you specify, which is a pretty cool feature. So there you go, with typeframes.com, you can create content super quick from any kind of source. So thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned something here today. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.